Hey, it's Ben Popper here with The Verge. I'm checking out DJI's latest drone, the Mavic. Uh, the big deal with this one, obviously, is the size and weight. Uh, it feels almost like an iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, I can not quite fit it into my pocket, maybe if I was wearing my Jankos today, but uh, it's definitely the smallest, most portable drone DJI has ever made. This thing is about 700 grams, and this tiny remote uh, is about half that. You could fly with just the remote. It gives you some telemetry information, like your height, your orientation. It can give you warnings if there's too much wind or if you've gone too far away. You could also fly with just the phone using the DJI app, or you can combine the two so that you have the stick controllers and the video feed from the drone itself. This drone has a lot of the sensors that you find on the Phantom 4. So it has optical flow sensors on the bottom that allow it to self-land and to see if there's obstacles down there. The optical flow sensors also give it the ability to judge changing height, so if you're flying uh, uphill, it can even auto follow you uphill. It has the sense and avoid package on the front, so you can fly it comfortably knowing it won't crash as long as you're headed in a forward direction. And it has all kinds of autonomous modes. It can follow you, it can orbit, it can track a point of interest. DJI also says it has some really fancy computer vision. It has the same subject tracking where you can drag a box around somebody and it will understand that that is the subject and automatically follow it. DJI says it also has gesture recognition, although that wasn't working on this prototype unit. But you can simply wave your hands if you want it to track you, throw them up in a big Y if you want it to start filming, and then put your hands up like a camera and it'll automatically take a drone focusing on you and flying out. DJI says that this new unit will start shipping in a few weeks and will probably cost around a thousand bucks, which is less than a brand new Phantom. In fact, it's less than the complete package if you get GoPro's new Karma drone with the camera. Now, the drone is smaller, but it has a 4K camera. The image sensor is the same, it just doesn't have quite as wide a field of view. The remote control isn't quite as big, and it doesn't have quite as many features if you want to customize your flying, but even though it's half the size, the Mavic is nearly as fast as the Inspire 4. It goes 40 miles an hour in sport mode instead of 45. So what's really interesting is that over the last year, the drone industry has gone in a new direction. Before it was making bigger, more advanced, more powerful copters. Now people are trying to make them smaller, more portable, more accessible. I think what's really interesting about the Mavic is that DJI has made what is probably the smallest and most portable of the high-end copters, and they've done it without sacrificing any of the advanced features that you would get on their more expensive drones.